Hey guys, welcome to Kettering University. We, this is our end of day one recap. My name is Justin. I'm Shane. And this is what we've done so far. Today, what we've done is we've started with our kit of parts frame. We have stripped it down and made the modifications needed for our design. Um, today's work was mainly in our design, what our strategy is going to be, um, and going forward with that. Uh, we have all of our supports made for our uh, main structure and everything, everything cut. We've started bolting everything up onto our frame. Um, for our chassis, we're running a Ford Neo drivetrain, two on each side, with the standard kit apart from some wheels and gearboxes. Um, and uh, we have basically everything chassis done wise, and then we've also started on some prototypes for intakes. So we have two main different intake mechanisms that we prototyped. Uh, our first one is a wheeled one that will be powered by two separate motors. Uh, this will be able to both collect uh, cones and cubes uh, just by sucking it in and then gripping onto them. And then we also have our other prototype that is a simple pincer mechanism that is able just to pince and pick them up. Uh, I think we are leaning towards our wheel collector for our final design and we'll have more for you uh, tomorrow. So. Thanks guys for checking in. We'll have more videos for tomorrow. Be sure to check out all the other videos on First Updates Now YouTube channel. And uh, stay up to date and going on. Thanks for watching. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Kettering University, over 30% of the student population was in high school robotics. These same students have received a portion of over $7 million in scholarships. Scholarship applications for first students are now available. Get more information at kettering.edu slash first. Thank you to all of our suppliers and sponsors for the Robot in Three Days Redux and Kettering Bulldogs programs.